Hello everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. One of the most common questions I receive in the past and continue to receive is how do I install a Linux based operating system on my computer? Now I'm going to design this uh, series of dummies tutorials. Now I, I mean dummies as a figure of speech with all due respect mainly if you are primarily a Windows PC user and wanted to try something different and have no clue, that's okay. You've come to the right place. I'm going to explain this to you as simple as I possibly can. For this example, I will be running Zorin Linux, uh, Zorin OS 6, inside a virtual machine using Ubuntu 12.04 as the host. Now, if you have no clue what I said, let me explain this. My main operating system here on my desktop is something called Ubuntu 12.04. You see the shortcuts here to the left, something resembling the, win, uh, resembling the Windows 7 Super Bar with a panel bar here at the top. And what I have here is something called the Dash. It's basically a search bar. Okay, I have my one of my logos here and some shortcut folders here on the desktop, something similar to Windows 7. I have already downloaded Zorn OS 6, what's called the ISO file. Now, to get started, you will go to the Zorn website, download the Zorn 6 file, check the MD5. What MD5 is, uh, check my Dummies Linux playlist and it will explain to you something called the MD file to make sure it is not, correct, uh, it is not corrupted. That is very, very important. Now I'm running Zorn inside a virtual machine. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It just allows me to run an operating system within an operating system. Okay, let's get started. Now, once you downloaded the Zorin 6 file, you can burn that to a CD or transfer that and boot it off a USB stick. Again, you can search my channel on how to do that. So this is what you should see on your desktop once you boot into Zorin. OS 6. You will see this minus, of course, the shortcuts here to the left and the panel here at the top, which belongs, of course, uh, belongs to Ubuntu 12.04. All right, you would double click Install Zorin OS 6. I recommend that if you are installing this on an older machine, you have at least, I would say, 20 gigabytes of hard drive space and at least one gigabyte of RAM. Welcome, choose your language, English. Now it says here for best results, please ensure that the computer has at least 8.6 gigabytes of available drive space. I recommend at least 20 gigabytes to install other stuff, you know, extra software, your videos, music, so on and so forth and you are connected to the internet. Now if you are installing this and click continue here at the bottom. If you are installing this on a laptop I would um, suggest that you have your laptop plugged in. You really shouldn't install this with the battery running. You have two choices. Now I'm going to assume that your computer uh, has no other operating system installed. That's why on my computer this says, since I'm running this inside the virtual machine, this computer currently has no detected operating systems. What would you what would you like to do? If you are going to install this as a dual boot alongside Windows 7, as an example, you would have a third option that would say install this Zorn alongside Windows 7. You would click that option instead. Never ever click something else. This is going to oh potentially mess things up. I never choose this option. I either choose erase disk and install in this case Zorn or install alongside Windows 7. Click continue. Okay so it says here the entire disk will be used. Install now. Now, as you see here, this is the automatic installer. You do not have to do anything extra, manual partitioning, or anything that is going to be somewhat confusing or complicated. As you can see here, it has sensed my time zone, New York. Click Continue. 
Now you notice that at the bottom it is copying the files. Keyboard lay layout that has detected English. Now, who are you? Well, you would choose your own name, username, nickname. I will just type in uh, Toss Today. Username Toss Today. I chose a simple password, three digits. It verifies it. I have chosen to log in automatically. You can choose to require my password to log in. I never click personally encrypt my home folder. Now it's starting. It's it's more than halfway installing the um, the operating system on the computer. Now this is as I stated. This is an automatic installer. Now this is almost done, so I will click uh, continue. It has a nice uh, slideshow to welcome you to Zorn OS 6 as you are waiting for this to install. I'm hearing some uh, install music in my headphones. And of course, this uh, slideshow will show you around Zorin OS while the system is being installed. I think this is kind of cool. And it talks about something called the Software Center. This is where you would browse and download free or paid for pieces of applications or apps or software. And of course, you can customize your new Zorin OS. Now Zorin does have something uh, exclusive called the Zorin Look Changer. Now we'll show you that in the next uh, Dummies tutorial for Zorin OS, Zorin Linux OS. If you wanted to, you can just click the right arrow here and go to the next uh, slideshow. This explains the Rhythm Box Music Player. Shotwell Photo Manager, LibreOffice for Documents and Presentations. This is the cloud service called Ubuntu One. I do use this for the Total OS Today and Tosscasts podcast. You can uh, check out the uh, Tosscast uh, Tosscast podcast, the previous podcast on the. Tosscast podcast website. There's also downloads on the Total OS Today website. I'll, I will have links to that in the show notes when I am done. Browse the web. You have several choices. Uh, this has something called the Zorin Web Browser Manager. Manager. You can choose between Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Opera and Midori. I usually use either, um, if I'm not running Windows, that is, I us uh, usually switch back and forth between Mo Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. And of course, you can connect to social websites such as Twitter and Facebook, email and chat through Skype. You can get help with Zorn uh, on the Zorn OS forums or, of course, the YouTube channel such as my channel, Total OS Today. Notice that at the bottom it says Almost Finished Copying Files, and it goes back to the original welcome screen. So this is almost done. Now, once again, if you are coming from Windows, as you can see, this is pretty basic stuff in terms of the uh, installation process. Once again, uh, make sure you have at least a 20 gigabyte hard drive, which really shouldn't be a problem unless you have an older computer, and I would recommend at least one gigabyte of RAM. 
I will say this if you have Windows installed or something installed on the hard drive and you click that first option that says it will delete or erase what you have and install Zorn it will erase and delete your current Windows operating system now if that's what you wanted to do fine if you don't choose the install alongside Windows 7 if you choose that option I would probably back up everything important that needs to be backed up first just in case something happens now 90 percent of the time you're gonna be fine but nothing is nothing is perfect so make sure you back up first unless of course once again you want to delete whatever is on your hard drive and install this now at the bottom it is installing the system if you are new to this coming from a Windows environment I recommend you uh, check out the live Total OS Today show podcast currently every Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern New York time on the LinuxDistroCommunity.com. You will have to download a piece of software called Mumble. It is available for both uh, Linux and Windows PCs. You're welcome to join this, the show either in chat, in the lounge, as a participant on the live show which is recorded as a speaking guest or in the listening room and my show is designed for newbies for new users who want to learn more or know more about a little bit about Linux now I do a variety of podcasts uh, some informational some news some nonsense it's a family friendly show um, once again if you are new to Linux and want a place to start and be treated with respect with understanding if you are new and not be treated like a total dummy once again I use dummy as a figure of speech I say that with all due respect I say that to someone if you are a Windows user and would like some information nothing more nothing less then check out the live Total OS Today show every Sunday nights currently 9 p.m. New York time okay well this is just about done now once this installs you would reboot your computer and and everything pretty much or just about everything should work after you re reboot or as we say everything should work out of the box but that being said after you reboot make sure you download install all the updates same thing if you had a Windows computer install the updates you may have to reboot okay, reboot again that's fine and really by the second reboot after the updates you should be ready to go now you may find that Zorin Linux may run faster than your previous Windows based operating system you generally don't have to worry about viruses and spyware I never do you don't have to worry about defragmenting And once again, if you need help, you can go to the Zorn OS forums. And probably one of the nicest things about this is uh, Zorn OS Linux, at least for the base versions, it is free. If you would like to try one of the premium versions, such as the Ultimate, which is what I have, I think it's like 10 US dollars. It's not that expensive. So it's either going to be free or almost free. And if you download it and you don't like it, where you change your mind well it really didn't cost you that much and that's the beauty of choice when it comes to a Linux based operating system it may or may not work for you or it works for you or just not not good enough you want to go back to Windows or what you have that's fine this is really about the freedom of, of choice for myself I choose to dual boot between Windows and various Linux based operating systems and really right now I have to admit I'm using my Ubuntu Linux desktop more and more over 50 percent more than Windows 7 I only boot into Windows 7 when I have to an example with that uh, of that would be uh, syncing my Zune uh, mp3 player which does not work in Linux Zorn Linux or Zorn OS is really the premier Linux based operating system for Windows users and as you see here it says installation complete installation has finished 
you can continue testing Zorn now but until you restart the computer any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved that's it this is how you install a Zorn Linux operating system on your computer the next tutorial will we'll browse through the operating system and probably I will show you the Zorin look changer which is something really cool but for now I'm going to restart this to make sure it works and it should and I think I will stop the recording here and the next the uh, dummies guide for Zorin Linux I think we, we shall talk about the Zorin look changer Thank you so much for watching and listening, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.